Alright guys, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial in Rust on how you can control the first 3-5 to five AK shots. And a really quick tip that can drastically improve your spray immediately. It might take some time to get adapted to, but it is a huge difference if you're not already using it. So, um, basically for the first 5 shots, this is what everybody struggles with, I think. I know I did. Um, there's a very obvious reason for that. It's because it's a fucking crazy pattern. It goes three different directions in three shots. Um, but it, but it's not actually that hard to control. Um, basically, what you have to do is you can shoot like this, and you'll notice that it jumps vertically. It pauses in the. There's a pause in the x-axis, and it jumps vertically. I'm not moving my mouse, this is just what the AK is doing. So you can use this and you can... Normally if you just pull left and down diagonally... You'll notice it jumps up and like sticks there. So what you can do is you can just um, compensate for that essentially. Like that, and if you watch my hand... You'll notice that um, I'm moving and then there's a little stop and then it, I continue moving again. It's like... I'll put on the 8x to demonstrate it better, but there's a pause and a jump. That's basically what you have to do. So you jerk left, and then you like sort of stop, and then you go left again. That's basically how you control the first three bullets. And it takes some practice to get used to, you have to get used to the timing, but it can be done fairly easily, I believe. Um, so second, how you can immediately improve your spray, like quite a lot. This is the only actual way that I've seen, is this command here. And what this does is it binds your right click button. It basically makes a sensitivity bind to your right click button. So when you press right click, it toggles your sensitivity really low. And then when you release it, it goes back high again, which enables you to move around quickly. But when you ADS in, you have much less movement. And this is really important because if you have just a really low sensitivity, like Tacular or somebody, it can really, here I'll demonstrate, can really hinder your close range performance. Um, so if I had, this is, this, this is the same ADS sensitivity, but if I had this as my hipfire, I really struggle to do like 180s and stuff for the most part. This isn't as low as you can go, you can go way lower than this. There are people that do go a lot lower than this. This is just what I use and this gives me a lot of mobility, but I might lower it at some point soon. So basically, yeah. That's all it does. It lets you move really quickly and hit fire. And you ADS and you have a low sense, and a low sense is way better for spring than AK. This spray's kind of shit right now, but You'll probably get my point. So bonus tip for the MP5, if you guys... One thing I struggle with with the MP5 is um, when I was learning it. It goes up and to the left, obviously. And I would always like let it jerk left. I wouldn't like control it well enough. And to get over that, what I did is I um, just threw on laser and A times. I got used to controlling the curve. And I know a lot of people use 8 times for the way to control the AK, but I haven't heard people talking about it for the MP5 very much, and I found it very, very useful. So that really helps you get used to the steep curve on the MP5 spray, so you can 
laser people. Hopefully better than I'm doing now, but you know. Yeah, so. Here's my spray control, like 150 meters. It's pretty sure right now, but it's fine. <laughs> 